Lift up your voice and worship the King of Kings. Lift up your voice and call the name of Jesus. He is the Son of God. He is the magnificent God. He is the Rose of Sharon. The Lily of the Valley. The Bright and Morning Star. He is our God. He is our Messiah. Our Redeemer. Call the name of Jesus. Oh, the Son of God. We worship you. We bow before your throne. We declare your majesty. If not for you, O Lord, what would that be? If not for the love upon the throne. Oh, the one that sits upon the throne. The Son of David. The year and the age. The one that is coming. The one that was. Is. And is to come. name we have prayed amen. and love the church say hello the amen. amen we want to use the next 10 minutes to pray and fight in the spirit you know it's a spiritual warfare and I want to encourage you to put your all into it because there is anointing in this place the anointing is flowing and the presence of God is mighty in this place praise the Lord Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. And Isaiah said, here I am, send me. When, we say, when someone says, here I am, send me. It, is, it means it is going to be the beginning of new things. Something new is about to happen. Because when you hear the call and you say, here I am, you are about to start a new thing. There will be newness in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray. You will say, Father, here I am. Let new things begin in my life. Let new things start in my family. Prayers. Oh, the set time for God to favor Zion has come. This is the beginning of new things. Because you are here and you say, here I am to the Lord. New things will begin in your home. New things begin in your family. New things begin for you. New things you begin to see. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When a man declares, here I am, send me. It means he knows that the assignment is going to be a glorious one. May you see glorious things in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, Father. Here I am. Send me. Let glorious things begin to happen. Let me see glorious manifestation. Let me see glory. For it, I know the thoughts that you have towards me. Thoughts of good, not of evil. To bring me to an expected end. I want to see glorious things. I want to see beautiful things, Lord. Here I am. Please send me. Please send me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. When a man says, Here I am, send me. It means that he's tired. He has tired of the situation that he's in. And he has realized it is time for something to change. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, For it shall come to pass on that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your shoulders and the yoke from off your neck. And the yoke shall be broken because of anointing. By the reason of anointing. I want you to lift off your voice like the psalmist in Psalm 13. He says, how long, Lord, before you answer me? Today is the day. Now is the appointed. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I am tired of this situation. Let me move forward. Prayers. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I am tired of going around the mountain. I want to see new things. Let there be a transformation. Let there be a rejuvenation. Let there be a correction. Let there be a lifting, Lord. Father, change the situation by the reason of your anointing. Break the yoke. Let the circle of perpetual desolation come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The elders have a saying from where I come from that more reverence is given to the person that sent you. Why? Because when you are sent, you are empowered to deliver the message. Here I am. Send me. If God is calling you, he has enough to give to you that you'll be able to deliver your message. You are going to say, Father, empower me now. Equip me to deliver the message. Prayers. The Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 17, every good gift, every good and perfect gift is from the Lord, the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Oh, our God is able to give us a mouth and wisdom by which we will speak and the enemies will not be able to gain say. God is more than able to equip you. He can give you all that you need. He can give you boldness. He can give you courage. Oh, he can give you wisdom. What you need, eloquence, what courage, everything that you need to excel and deliver the message, to make an impact in life. God is able to give you. God is able to give you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Isaiah said, oh, I dwell among a people of unclean lips. And that is to me. By the reason of association, our blessings may be diverted. By the reason of association, our values may be corrupted. Isaiah was dwelling in the midst of unclean people. We're going to say, Father, every evil association, I separate from my family by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it is written. Unto us has been given the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. That whatsoever we bind the honor is bound in heaven. And so I declare evil association, corrupting values, evil association, dividing blessings, separate by fire. We command a separation by the blood of Jesus. Whatsoever has not been planted by my God, be uprooted out of my home, be uprooted out of my family, out of my life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed Isaiah saw the Lord and he said woe is me but another man saw the Lord in the Mark chapter 9 verse 24 and he said Lord help me I choose to see the Lord and say Lord help my own belief lift up your voice and say Lord help me prayers prayers Help me, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord. I need your help, Lord. I need your help. Send help to me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you because you always answer prayers. You are the faithful God. Father, send answers to us speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for your encouragement, O oh Lord. Father, please speak to us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Send your word, Lord. And deliver us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the church of God will shout aloud, Amen.